Edinburgh has shown art for many, many years. We've had a very long relationship with the National Portrait Gallery stretching back over 30 years. So people are typically expecting to see 18th century portraiture when they come to us. Over the past couple of years, we've uh, come to realise that our visitors would like to see more and more modern artwork. And so we've taken the bold step of putting on our biggest exhibition yet. It includes 25 artworks. And uh, we are showing work by not just one lender this time. We're showing work by a handful of lenders, which is... Uh, quite a move for us. The exhibition is called uh, Yorkshire Achievement, Grit and Controversy and what we're trying to do is uh, look at the reputation of Yorkshire and uh, get people to think about what does Yorkshire mean to them. The first room that we're in at the moment, the Saloon Gallery, we're looking at artistic achievers. Yorkshire is very much known as a cultural powerhouse. We have many, many art galleries and arts institutions in Yorkshire and it continues to be a huge um, influence on artists from around the world. In our East Gallery we are looking at people who are known for their strength of voice, people who are known for perhaps not conforming, that might be in a positive way or in a negative way, depending on how you personally look at it. Room three, we're looking at Yorkshire voice. So Yorkshire is very much known for its strong uh, accent and for the many phrases and sayings that are associated with the Yorkshire language. So we're getting people to think about how the accent of Yorkshire comes across in not just people's spoken word, but how it comes across in the written word and in the sung word as well. And we're giving people an opportunity to write down and place on a board their favourite Yorkshire phrases and sayings and we're discovering some really interesting ones. We're trying to get people to use art to uh, open up conversation and to really think about what does um, Yorkshire perhaps mean to them? How do they think of Yorkshire? Are stereotypes around Yorkshire and Yorkshire people out of date? So the purpose of the exhibition is to try and encourage people to talk to each other and think about Yorkshire and place in a much wider sense.